Hey, it's Eric. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we're using Nginx as the front door for an ingestion pipeline for request metrics. We're gonna talk about how we can make Nginx write log files in JSON format, how we can write specific log files for specific endpoints, and how we can log the incoming request bodies to those logs. What the fuck is this? So in this video, we're gonna talk about Nginx. Specifically, for our purposes and request metrics, we wanna use Nginx as an ingest tier for a lot of our performance data. We're gonna have these JavaScript agents running on customer browsers, and they're gonna be sending it to our ingestion tier. There's gonna be a lot of data coming in the front door all of the time. And what we wanna do with that data once we get it, is we wanna actually take all of the incoming data and write it to a JSON log file a specific log file for ingestion only. So how do we make that happen with Nginx? In order to demo all this stuff, I have created a, a virtual machine in DigitalOcean, just a little throwaway one, and I've installed Nginx on it. It is currently um, very stock. So we've got the basic homepage, you know, if I just request it, um, it says, you know, hey, great, welcome to Nginx, all this stuff. And it's uh, pretty simple from a log perspective. We've got the access log and the error log. So if I, uh, if I tail the access log and I start sending requests, you will see every one of these requests coming in. So that's great. We've got a basic Nginx instance. Now, how do we make it work for our purposes as an ingestion tier? So if we can imagine, let's think that we, you know, we've got this JavaScript that's collecting all this performance information. It needs to post it to somewhere. Let's say it's gonna post it to the ingest endpoint on our server. And let's say it's got a, a very simple body of uh, Eric is awesome, because it's actually gonna have a lot of performance information, but for now, uh, me being awesome is sufficient for our demo purposes. So now if I send this request, I get a 404. Nothing is listening on ingest right now. And if we look, uh, and I keep sending it, you can see here, here's my post, here's my 404. That's fine, but that's not what we want. So the first thing that we wanna do is make the ingest endpoint actually work. Right now at 404, so that's no good. So we can just leave the default location there. That's fine for now. Uh, you know, Maybe someday we'll change it. And let's just say for now we wanna return a 202 and that tells the client, hey, we got your request and we're processing it. Don't worry about it, you're all good. So um, we save that up and then we're gonna restart Nginx. So if we hit this endpoint, Great, we get a 202. That's a good start. But now we wanna actually write all of the requests that go to ingest, we wanna write them to their own spot. And to do that, we can use the access log directive. And this thing couldn't be simpler. You can literally just tell it, hey, uh, what path do you want me to write these logs out to? And so all of the requests that go to this location specifically will be written here. So I saved it. Let me restart Nginx. And now you can see, hey, there's my ingest log. So let me tail the ingest log and send it some requests. Great, look at that. And now if I change this, right? So if I, if I lower this, if I get rid of the ingest, you'll notice even though it's a 405, which is fine, uh, nothing is getting logged here. So I'm only logging requests to ingest. So the next step is we need to create our own custom log format. And that is actually done in the Nginx conf itself. There are other places you can do this, but for the purpose of this demo, that's the easiest. Um, and so you create a custom log format, and the first thing you need to do is give it a name. Um, you know, so maybe it's JSON ingest format or whatever. You can call it anything you want. And then it just takes a string. And you can actually, this is where you can customize exactly the output. So let's, let's do like a very basic uh, JSON payload. So we, we probably want to output a timestamp. How do I put the timestamp in here? Well, this is a magic string where you can use um, Nginx variables. And so Nginx actually has this dollar sign time ISO 8601. So this will actually tell the log parser, hey, replace this spot with whatever time it is in ISO 8601 format. So now we've got our new log format but we need to use it somewhere. Nobody's using this. We've just said, hey, this is what JSON ingest should look like. Nobody's using it. We can return to our access log directive 
And we can say, I want the ingest log to use this. Okay, so now if we restart Nginx and we start sending requests, you'll see we've got this JSON log file and it's got our dynamically updated timestamp, which is exactly what we wanted. The last piece of this puzzle is we want this request body to be logged as well. And that way the processor can just figure out whatever it is later. How do we do that? Well, fortunately for us, Nginx has another uh, variable called request body. So if we write this out, we should get the body of our request. Let's see if that works. It doesn't. So here's a little trick or a little gotcha. The request body variable will not be populated unless you're actually forwarding the request on to a proxy server or you're using some sort of third party thing uh, that causes it to be populated. But by default, unless you're using proxy pass, Nginx is not going to populate that. So to get around that, what we do, instead of returning a 202 here, right, we can just proxy pass. And all proxy pass does is say, hey, take the request that came in this way and send it to this other endpoint. And we're gonna be lazy, folks. We are gonna just send it to our own local host and we'll just call it dev null. You can call this endpoint anything you want, but basically the idea is we're just gonna forward this thing into, the, into nothingness, right? So all we're gonna do here, we're gonna make another thing, we're gonna return that 202. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn the access log off completely for this endpoint. So nothing that gets sent here will ever get logged anywhere. This guy will still get logged, right? And then he'll just get forwarded on to localhost dev null. And now when we restart, now, when I send him, I get the request body. But you might notice that it's still not quite right. We've got this X0A thing. Well, this is Unicode encoding. And it turns out that the developers of Nginx have actually experienced this issue before, and it's not uncommon to want to be able to log JSON formatted data. So they actually have another parameter that you can pass to log format called escape. And you can actually tell it, hey, I want you to escape the incoming data as if it were JSON. So now that I've done this, I've restarted Nginx. Now when I send the request, now you can see, so here we've got this x22 gobbledygook, but here we've actually got, okay, yeah, it was a new line character, but now we've got all of our things accomplished. So let's just take a quick look at what we did. So the first thing we had to do was create a new endpoint called ingest. And we did that inside the site, full, or the site config file. And we just added a new location with the path. And then we also said, hey, for this specific location, I want you to go ahead and log it out to here, right? And then I also want you to use this specific log format. And that log format was specified in the Nginx config, and this is the name. And then here is the actual format. And just a reminder, note these different variables here, they're prefix with a dollar sign. There are dozens, if not hundreds of these available. The other thing that we did is we said, hey, we want you to treat this incoming data or this log as if it was JSON, so escape it accordingly, all right? Now, when we tried to log the request body, that didn't work by default. The only way we could get the request body logged was to proxy pass it internally to another local endpoint. And so that's what we're doing here. So it's kind of a weird gymnastic approach, but it works very effectively and you don't need any third party modules or anything to make it happen. And then for this guy, all we're doing is saying, hey, return a 202 and don't log it further. And that's it. That's how you log JSON in Nginx.